I say this in the book, but I used to, when I was running an ad agency, I realized that I was probably guilty of that. And we, we brought in a bunch of what we called the young Turks, young, skeptical people that worked uh, in the agency and just asked them to have at it. And um, it was incredibly enlightening. Uh, you, you, yeah. you think you can see the other side, the alternative ways forward. But when you have people that are not like you coming up with a much broader range and a much more forceful argument for those those directions. It's just a completely different world. Yeah. But in so many organizations, that is just not encouraged. It's just it's it's you you can't stick your neck out like that. No, and it, you know when I was reading the book, it immediately, I immediately started to think about the work of people like Amy Edmondson, who talks about psychological safety, and mm. uh, you know Ken Robinson. Um, who wrote yeah. the, the element and that great story he tells about, you know, the young woman uh, uh, who was, you know, couldn't sit still. And eventually somebody just looked at her and said, she's a dancer, put her in dancing school, you know, put her in dance school. You know, yeah. and then she, yeah. she thrived and became a, you know, a famous ballerina. Um, so, so the, there's a, it, it sort of seems to go back to not just leaders, but, but, but parenting and education as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just there's a lot if, you know, if you are someone who truly has something unique to offer, and one could argue that everybody does, there are just, as the book says, there are a lot of forces out there trying to dampen your ability to do that. It's just the world is not, you know, it's weird. On the one hand, we've got some big problems that will only be solved. The world will only solve those problems by sort of nonlinear, different yeah. thinking. Um, yet we're trying to squeeze the difference out. 